Shavua Tov, this is Motzei Shabbat Parshat Emor, 5776. It is the 29th day of the Omer. It is Pesach Sheni, the 14th of Iyar. I'd like to share with you a, a thought about Svirat HaOmer. The Jose of Lublin reported that he was once walking through the forest and he saw a man building a hut from the wood, the, from the trees that he had cut down. Now, of course, when you cut down a tree, it's got branches and has uh, rough spots. So to make a, a log cabin, it, you want everything to, to be as snug as possible. So instead of trying to shave down everything to be smooth that it should match, wherever he found an irregularity in one beam, in one, in one tree, he would hollow out a depression in the neighboring ones that they would fit together, which would also make things stronger like that. So the Jose of Lublin said that he learned a very big lesson from this man, that in order to connect to another person, you have to make room for their imperfections. Don't try to cut somebody down to fit the way you want them to be, but make adjustments to yourself to, to accept that person's so-called imperfections. And then you'll be connected. So, uh, in the... Uh, in the uh, weekly Zahashar uh, Lashem, it seems to me that the editor is reflecting that, um, as we mentioned in this week's Parsha of Emor, we're in the period of Sfirat Omer, And this is the time from the exodus from Egypt, from Pesach, until Shavuot, three weeks from, from now, that the children of Israel prepared themselves to receive the Torah. They went from the depths of the depravity of Egyptian society and they readied themselves to receive the Torah by divine revelation. What did they do to ready themselves? And what did they achieve that made them worthy? So the Torah tells us what they achieved. The only place in the Torah where it tells us that the Jewish people, using a singular verb, not vayachanu, but vayichan, the Jewish people as a whole, as a single entity, like one person with one heart, camped, vayichan in the singular. The entire Jewish people camped at Har Sinai, at Mount Sinai. So somehow they arrived at this experience of unity and single-mindedness and, and fraternity that, that they had worked on and that is what God saw in the Jewish people that gave them the merit to receive the Torah. And so, what was their work? What was their spiritual work during these seven weeks? So, you'll notice in many Sidurim, there is a, um, a Kabbalistic formula for the seven weeks that each of the seven weeks has a spiritual focus of a different personality characteristic. Chesed, Gvura, Tiferet, Netzach, Hod, Yesod, and Malchut. And these represent seven emotions and dimensions of the personality. And each of those seven are composed of, of all seven. So in total you have 49 combinations of these seven emotions and states of mind and ways of being. And without going into the details of those, basically what 
it is as a program for examining our character and our behavior, our thoughts and our emotions, and purifying them, refining them. And so the question is, not only how I can fix myself, but how can I make room for the other in my, in my life? And that was the parable, uh, the, the lesson, the life lesson that the Jose of Lublin, the seer of Lublin, spoke of, that instead of trying to shave off other people's imperfections and ma make people the way I want them, to be one with our, our fellow human being, we need to make space within ourselves to, re, to, to receive them and to, to accept them. As Rabbi Elimelech of Vizenz said, prayed, God, please, on the contrary, instead of my seeing other people's faults, put into our hearts that we should each see the greatness of the other person. And we should all speak to each other in the most desirable way, in the most straight way that you, you will find desirable Hashem, and God forbid, don't allow any hatred to enter our hearts, any dislike to enter our hearts, one for the other. And this idea of working on one's character is, of course, expressed in. The, the larger body of what we call Musa, uh, which is the project of working on one's character. So, uh, I'll just share with you a little bit from the Vilna Gaon, as it appears in the well-known work Evan Shlema, or Evan Shlomo, um, play on his name, and um, here, one of his disciples, Rabbi Shmuel ben Avram Maltzan, collected the, the guide, guidance for life from the Vilna Gaon from his various works. So here are just a couple of, of ideas to think about in the outset. All of the service of God depends on character refinement. The main purpose in life and the main experience in life is to constantly strengthen ourselves to correct our character flaws. And if, and if we don't work on ourselves to improve ourselves, what good is it to live? This is the essence of what we need to do in the course of our lives. And Svirata Omer is a seminar time for us to carefully examine who I am and how I relate to others. And sometimes a person has to go to an extreme to correct a character flaw so they can come back to uh, the derecha memutza. The, the golden mean, so to speak. So if a person has uh, uh, a temper, uh, so it may have to be 
ex extremely, extremely um, uh, compassionate and caring and giving till he breaks that aspect in himself. And then he'll be able to have a more balanced way. If a person is stingy, he needs to engage in more generosity and more giving until he can find a, come back to a balanced way. But if a person who is already out of balance just tries to go to the middle of the way, he, Vilna Gaon suggests he's already failed on that path and that's not, that's not going to help him. And he says, Every person has to know for himself what he has to um, self-restrict about. It's not enough to just follow everything that's in the halacha. Sometimes a person has to make certain strictures and restrictions for himself and herself because they know this is something that I have failed in. This is a particular area that I have to be extra careful about. And so even though people might think that I'm an extremist about this, I sh it, shouldn't, it shouldn't bother me. If I need to do this in order to correct my character, then I should do it. However, But, don't rely on your creativity in correcting your character flaws if it takes you to an area of prohibition. Here the halacha defines the, the limits. So let's say a person uh, overeats and he says, I'm going to fast. Okay, but not on Shabbos. Not allowed to fast on Shabbos. So one should should one can has the the um, the license to fashion one's own uh, personal restrictions when necessary, but must always be cognizant of the halacha which sets the boundaries and work always within the parameters of the halacha. And those things that a person finds most difficult, a person has tried many times and has failed, those are often, those are the things that a person can know that those are the things that God really wants him to work on. The things that are truly the hardest, don't give up about them, but keep trying. It's like, like, like banging on a, on a thick wall of stone with a sledgehammer. Eventually it will break. As Rabbi Nachman of Breslov says, that every time a person tries is very precious in Hashem's eyes, and eventually a person will achieve success. Those things that a person feels like so much part of them, how will I ever succeed in retraining my, my nature? Those things are often a carryover from an earlier incarnation, and that's the very reason that a person was given this lifetime, is to correct those things that seem to be very deep in their character. And they're not things a person should give into and say, well, that's just the way I am. No, a person can redefine themselves. A person can reinvent themselves. A person can retrain themselves and build a new character. May Hashem bless us that as we go through these days of Svirata Omer, that each day be an opportunity that we grab and achieve a further step of refinement so that when we come to Shavuot, we are ready both on a personal and an interpersonal and national level to receive the Torah that God wants to give us and that we fully embrace the mission for which God created us and that we achieve our own personal potential and that as a nation we bring God, God's glory to the world and eventually to the redemption of all of humanity. Shavuot Tov.